my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Sam and today my video is a little different than my normal content. I wanted to talk about how much I made reselling and furniture flipping the past nine months. So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. I want to preface this video with a few different things. First of all, I want to say that I have called myself a full-time reseller or a full-time furniture flipper throughout this year a few times like on my social media um, and there were a couple of months where my wife and I did really try to make furniture flipping our full-time job so we we were doing that full-time um, and that didn't work out for us and then I have been full-time reselling as my job but my wife has a full-time job out of the home now so it's not like this is our only income because as you'll see that would just not really be possible um, so I wanted to preface with those two things as well as I still considered myself full-time reselling because that's all I'm doing um, but at the same time I'm also staying home with my son who's two and so he is a full-time job in itself and so the reselling is basically part-time but it's my full-time job if that makes any sense I hope that makes sense so I just wanted to convey that the reselling is not like our only form of income because if once you see my numbers you're gonna be like what like how are you how are you surviving um but I wanted to give like an honest reflection and a, an honest answer about how much I've made reselling because I used to search these types of videos and when I looked up like vintage reseller income I would either find clothing resellers which is not what I was doing um, or I would find like people reselling like very few videos by the way uh, and if they weren't clothing and they were actual like home decor items like I'm doing they would be like these one-offs where they were like ended up being worth a lot of money so they made a lot of money and it just wasn't like a realistic uh, view or take on like what it is that I was searching for I was searching for someone who was reselling vintage goods for profit as their job and what did they make so I could expect to know what to make and so I wanted to make a video like this to hopefully help someone else who's searching for that information so I have written everything down on a piece of paper I had it all on my phone and I was gonna use my camera to record but I'm trapped in the car with my toddler who's sleeping and so I ended up writing all of the numbers that I had on my phone on the piece of paper which is also my kids um, scholastic book fair paper so we're just we're keeping it really professional here so I'm gonna start with January we didn't start furniture flipping my wife and I until March of this year of 2023 and so I dabbled in the idea of reselling in January um, but as you'll see we'll, we'll, we'll talk as we go so January 2023 I only sold one item to resell and I made $20 <laughs> um, I don't even remember what it was I also want to say that I here's some advice for you if you are going to be getting into reselling of any kind keep track of all of your ins and outs I did not do this until like a couple months ago and I had already been a few months into my reselling journey I actually created a downloadable PDF that you can print out it's like a reselling organizer and I will link it below I started using that and it made a world of difference but I'm only selling that for two dollars and it has several pages on 
keeping track of your inventory on there, like what you bought your item for, what you sold it for, who you sold it to, the dimensions of it. Um, there's spots for notes on there and keeping track of your like weekly schedule. So I want to say that the amounts I'm giving are just like what I made, just what I sold the items for, what we took in. I'm not accounting for what I paid for the item versus what I sold it for. So like the profit margin, like I don't have that information because I didn't save that information. Like I didn't keep track of any of that stuff. Um, so please don't make the same mistake I did. And I will say that anything that I buy, I try to get double at least double, hopefully triple what I paid for it. And like I said, since I stay home with my toddler, my items that I would find to resell are mostly just from thrifting because that is what was accessible to me was going to the thrift store. That's something that I could do with him. Um, I didn't go to a lot of estate sales. I didn't go to a lot of yard sales. Like I did some of both of those things, but, um, I feel like your profit margins will be better if you go to estate sales or yard sales where things are a much better deal. Some thrift stores that I go to are very inexpensive, but some are not. Um, and so I just wanted to also give that little caveat. Like I don't have those prices included. So this is just like what I, this is just like a revenue, I guess. No, nothing taken out, no taxes taken out, no profit margins accounted for. So <clears throat> let's get back into it. So January, $20. <laughs> February, I sold three items and I made $55. March, I didn't sell any items, but this is when we started furniture flipping and taking it very seriously. So we had five furniture flips, my wife and I, and made $1,275 and with furniture we would mostly get that for free or like 10 to $20 was the max that I would allow us to spend on that furniture so sourcing those items was like side of the road marketplace on Facebook marketplace um, or thrift stores a lot of times like we would find furniture at thrift stores for like 10 to $20 and even then I was like ooh, this is expensive because your you want your profit to be bigger you know um so finding things for free was where it's at or friends or family would gift things to us um to flip so that's something you could do too is ask friends and family to keep a lookout for furniture for you april i made one thousand one hundred and sixty eight dollars i did six furniture flips and didn't uh, resell any like items small items um so those furniture flips were for dressers and tables and things like that. May, I made $473. We did two furniture flips and I sold two items, like small items. June, this is when I started like reselling, like taking it very seriously. Uh, I sold $1,524 worth of stuff. Well, that's how much I made. And I sold 34 items and we did two furniture flips. And then in July, I did no furniture flips. I sold 48 items and I made $1,178. And I will say I sold my items on my Instagram page or Etsy, that's where I sell things. And then in August, I sold, oh yeah, and we had also stopped furniture flipping. June was like really the last time we did that. Now my wife will do like commission pieces because she's back at work full time, so like out of the home. So she doesn't really have a lot of time to flip furniture, but when she does, um, it's like people reach out to her and ask her and they'll pay her and she just does it on the side. So anyway, getting back to this. So July, oh wait, we just did July. August, I made $887 and I sold 42 items. And then in September, I made $687 and sold 34 items. So my grand total from January to September was $7,267. So 
I want to say a few more things. I, like I said, don't give 100% of my time to this. Um, I would say I, I give a lot of my time to it, but most of it is spent with my son. And I also, well, I have three sons, but my toddler is the one who stays home with me all day and the other two are in school. So, um, mostly I'm doing that. And then I also work on like creating content because I have grown a bit of a following now on my Instagram um, page. So I spend a lot of time creating content for that. The reselling has kind of gone like to the wayside. I've focused more of my attention on just creating content. So I've kind of stopped reselling. I will sell stuff here and there. Like if I just happen to have some things on hand, I'll post them in my stories or on my feed and just be like, Hey, I have these available. If anybody wants them, I don't do like big collection drops anymore. So what I want to say that you can take away from this information is that if you are able to put in like a hundred percent effort and time into furniture flipping or reselling vintage items or reselling clothing. I think clothing, you can make a lot of money. I don't know much about that world, but I see a lot of YouTube videos on that and people are making a lot. Um, but it's just not something that I'm like super interested in. But what I want to say is if, you, like I said, like if you're able to put in a lot of effort and time, you can see a decent income from this like obviously um and if it's something that you're looking to do part-time for sure like seven thousand dollars in nine months is like a pretty good little side income um and I also wanted to say that reselling furniture like flipping furniture is more lucrative and like the profit margins are higher but it's harder work it's a lot of like physical labor um, you're also buying a lot of materials to flip the furniture, the paint, the sandpaper, the sander, uh, hammer, nail, like all the things that you need to flip furniture, you know, the payoff is bigger. So you can p make a decent living, furniture flipping, if you have all the time in the world. And um, if you have a little bit of a cushion saved up, because that furniture does take some time to sell sometimes. Like sometimes you could be sitting on a dresser that you made for like a month you know before it sells but with the vintage like item reselling it's a little bit quicker you're selling on Etsy or selling on your Instagram or selling on Facebook marketplace those things and tend to sell quicker I would love to make a video all about like the good and the bad of reselling as you can see like I didn't do this like majorly majorly full-time but some of these months like July and June in August, like selling 42 items, 48 items. Like that's a lot of stuff that I sold. So it was full time for me. I hope this video helps somebody in some way, just kind of shed some light on like what money can be made and a little bit more of a realistic version. I just think that just having the information uh, is helpful like I just don't see a lot of people talking about this and um, if it's something that you're interested in you know sky's the limit like you can make as little or as much as you want it really depends on how much you're buying how much you're selling how much um, you spent on the item there's a lot of different variables but I truly think you could make quite a bit of money doing this I am just giving my experience um, obviously I wasn't able to make like a full-time income from this but definitely was a helpful chunk of money being home and also doing it so um, yeah I just wanted to share that information and let me know if this helped you in any way and let me know if you have any questions and if you'd like for me to make a video giving more of like the nitty-gritty of reselling like good and bad that below in the comments and I will take a look at that and thank you guys so much I'll see you in the next video bye